Hello everyone. I have really been enjoying um, sharing my what I eat in a week, like our dinners with you. So I did another one this week. I started out with just showing what we were eating and then after doing a quick poll, I found that people are also more interested in seeing the process of us making the food. And I don't have a ton of time. I'm a working mom. I think some of you can relate. So I'm doing my best to show some steps that lead up to it, even though I'm probably for the most part not going to be showing every single step that gets there. I'll try to talk you through it as best I can. I'll be sure to link recipes, things that I use to make things like my air fryer and things like that. So if you have any questions, it should be answered in the description box. We could always send me a message, find me on Instagram or whatever and talk to me there or leave a comment. I'll be happy to respond. Um, so now on to a, I think it's like five meals, a week of meals ish. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I wanted to do another week of foods for you guys, but it's Tuesday and this is my leftovers that I made for my lunch. And I didn't record last night, so I thought I'd show you. This is exactly what I had for dinner last night. This ranch is homemade, so it's a little it's lighter. There's two tablespoons there. And then I have some blackened chicken, grape tomatoes, cucumbers. There's lettuce down here. A few tablespoons of cheese. There's a half a tablespoon of bacon bits in there and some green and red onions. And it's really tasty. So, oh, and half an egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now, but I just thought I'd share. So it was pretty tasty. It's Tuesday night, Taco Tuesday. I made tacos. So I have a taco here on a low carb shell. This is the Walmart brand and it's pretty good. It's the medium size, so it's pretty big. So I just did one with beef, taco filling. That's some guacamole, tomato, oh, no tomato, sorry. Lettuce and cheese. And I'm gonna put two of these Taco Bell hot sauce packets. I've got a half cup of fresh pineapple. And then if I'm still hungry, got some cucumbers and carrots. And this is homemade ranch that I can dip it in. And Clara over here, say hi. Hi. She's having a quesadilla and she has some guacamole and chips and one piece of pineapple. Setting it weirdly across the whole table. You show people your bed? What does it say? Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Yeah. It's Wednesday night and I have this food that looks so weird. I don't know why it looks like this, but it was like a bake with potatoes, broccoli, chicken, cheese, and some crumbled bacon on top. You add in half and half. I think that I used fat-free half and half is why it's kind of curdled, but it tastes delicious. But the recipe said it would take an hour to cook and it took two hours. So I'm eating it at 8.13 p.m. My family already ate. So tastes really good, but be very prepared or spread it out into a larger pan than what they say to use because it, it takes a long time. So very good, however, very long time. I'll link the recipe for you below, but that's what's for dinner. Hi. So I just got home. I had this on the crock pot. I actually put up a, um, a poll today to see if people prefer like just what we ate, like finished product or to see, um, everything start to finish. And as I expected, people want to see start to finish. So I'm going to try to do my version of that, which is the least, uh, difficult way to do it for me and it's just showing you some steps along the way so we're having pulled pork over baked potatoes with side salads tonight so I have my crock pot I've had it on low for six hours wait no it's been on low for eight hours it was on low for eight hours and now it's been on warm for about eight minutes um I oh Oh, my husband must have tightened it up. So it's just three pounds of boneless pork tenderloin 
a mini can of Coca-Cola and about a half cup of barbecue sauce and then a bunch of our favorite seasoning which is Shoop seasoning which is local to the town we live in and it does not look super appealing it looks even worse on camera than it does in real life but it smells really good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I think I'll take this out of here and shred it and then I'll add some of the juices back in along with another half cup of barbecue. But this will be good for dinner tonight, lunch tomorrow, and half of it is just going to be cooled down and then put into the freezer so we can use it for dinner another night. But I'll show you, you know, the other steps that I do as I go along. Okay, so I'm attempting to make baked potatoes in the air fryer. Uh, wow. Um, I have just washed my potatoes, I put a tiny bit of olive oil on them, extra virgin olive oil. This one's from Imperfect Foods. A uh, sprinkle of salt and then a uh, sprinkle of garlic powder on both sides to make the skin really crispy and flavorful. Skin is kind of my favorite thing on baked potatoes. So I have a tiny one of these, so I hope that they fit. Oh, I think they will. Okay, they do. Two of them fit perfectly in my, I think it's... 1.5 or 1.4 quart um so i'm going to do 400 degrees and i'm going to do it for 20 minutes oh gosh i'll have to get that i'm gonna do it for 20 minutes and then i'll be back to turn it over and uh check them and then i'll probably do them for another 10 to 20 minutes depending on how they're doing so we'll be back for that too i to show you how tender this pork is it's just like falling apart like so tender I don't have to really do anything to it. I can just shake it out. So, yeah. I'm gonna take a little taste. Oh my god, it's so juicy too. I'll write this recipe below. It's not really a recipe, it's just kind of what I made up, but so good. Dinner tonight, baked potato, pulled pork with barbecue and Coke, and a side salad. I have, um, I did this as I showed you with the air fryer and it is a little crispier than I'd actually prefer. So I'd need to tweak it and then it'd be like a whole hour and it's just a whole thing. So I'm not sure I'd recommend it. We'll see how it tastes, but that's it. Today for dinner, I'm making a hodgepodge of things, just things that were in the freezer that needed to be used up. I, in the air fryer, I'm making Claire one of the Trader Joe's Bambino uh, cheese pizzas. Um, I just cook it on 330, I think, for about 10 minutes, and it comes out pretty good. Um, I'm making these turkey burgers for Brett. I literally have no idea what I'm going to serve with them. Maybe he can figure it out. Maybe not. Maybe he'll just eat turkey burgers and nothing else. I'm not sure. And then I'm making myself some of these classic buffalo recipe wings that we've had in the freezer for probably way too long. They're being made in the oven, under the broiler with hot sauce and I'll show you whatever we decide to put it with everything and how it all looks plated up. These turkey burgers are the Dicedell brand. I got it um, from an imperfect box. It is far too crazy at my house right now to even try to film whatever my plate looks like after this, but I'm just gonna do probably three of these wings, some corn, and then pineapple and cucumbers are already on the table. So I'm gonna do that, but for now, we're gonna go try to enjoy what's left of this evening. Happy Saturday, friends. I'm in the kitchen making just a complete mess, but I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I'm making some homemade Hot Pockets. I have never made pizza dough before, and I accidentally bought fast rising and didn't realize it. So the recipe that I found on the internet, I couldn't use because it wasn't actual yeast, like real yeast, so this is instant yeast. But luckily there was uh, directions on the back and I used this, the only thing I did different is I added a little bit of honey. And yeah, so this is what they're looking like. I haven't baked them yet, obviously, but I did the yeast, uh, the dough according to the directions back here, plus honey. 
and then I separated it out into eight pieces. They're approximately 85 grams and then I'm rolling them out and then I'm adding a tablespoon of this Priano tomato basil sauce. This is from Aldi and it's my favorite. Um, the organic one is really, really good. Hardly in store right now, probably pandemic related, but that one's only 45 calories. This one's 70. I'm not a crazy calorie counter, but if you're mindful of that, this one is a little more, but it's also very good. And then I'm using some of the Sargento provolone and mozzarella, and then topping it off with a little bit of the Mexican style uh, craft cheese. I think that's craft. Oh no, it's Members Mark. It's Sam's Club brand. It looks like craft. They're really tricky there. And then I'm using five pieces of turkey pepperoni from all the inside for six of them and two of them I am just leaving as cheese for Clara and Audrey. And okay, I'll put you on a tripod and show you what it looks like in action. As you can tell, I'm not a professional at this, but I think my family will like it and it'll be good enough for us. So I'm going to continue making all of these and then pop them in the oven for four, at 450 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. So I decided that I'm going to cook these four before I do the others just so I can see if they like explode or I need to cut the top or something weird happens because I think we're going to eat these and then I'm going to freeze the others and I'm going to make probably another batch or two to bake and then freeze so we just have them in the freezer for quick meals or lunches. So it was 10 minutes after I put them in and look at them. They look pretty good. I think that when I do the next ones, I'll either put egg wash on the top or some butter with garlic because the tops look kind of dry. I don't think that they need cut open when I cook them, but well, I don't, yeah, I think they should be fine. But yeah, they look good in the little spiral 
closey stuff I did also looks nice. I'm very excited. I'll show you what they look like when I cut into one of them, but yeah, I'm gonna make the rest of them. I, just, I opened one up to have for lunch and look how yummy. So simple. I'm really excited about them. And I'm going to be making more to put in the freezer so that I can just pop them out and have them for a quick lunch or dinner whenever we want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look into a week of meals and that freezer meal um, that we did eat for a few meals um, over the weekend. Very, very tasty. I highly recommend. Um, I, again, left all the links for you below. If you have any questions, reach out. You can find me on the internet at The Pretty Plus on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. And as always, you can find me on my blog, theprettyplus.com, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.